Today we'll talk about a design trend that every 2023 Formula 1 car has, and that is a small cutout on the diffuser sidewall. Now I've prepared some CFD with a general 2023 Formula 1 car to help illustrate some of these interactions. But firstly, to understand why we might use this geometry, we first need to understand what the flow field is generally doing in this region. Now at the point of the floor kick, we generate significant suction. This encourages inwash into the rear diffuser. Naturally, a floor edge vortex system is created by this inwash, shedding off edge devices and the diffuser sidewall itself. It's important to note that this system will grow stronger as ride height is reduced because of the suction amplification when in ground effect. But at a certain point, this system will be pushed too hard and will probably burst. Now, axial flow vortex burst generally occurs when the axial velocity component of the vortex is decelerated too much. This leads to a rapid expansion of the core region and introduces loss into the system. We want to try to avoid any significant vortex burst because then we lose the localized suction from the vortex core itself and we'll fill the whole diffuser up with loss. Uh, what do I mean by this? Well, for example, this is the cross section of a diffuser at the outlet. You can see how the vortex burst has consumed a large proportion of the total expansion area. It's basically just made our diffuser that much smaller, decreasing its performance potential. So then, what does the cutout actually do? Well, I believe it helps manage this vortex burst, particularly at the lower rear ride height range, by injecting the vortex with higher energy air from outside. The two figures show the cutout and the non-cutout. It's difficult to see, but with the cutout, the whole floor has more downforce. In this case, about 10 points. Uh, flicking through the images shows the increased suction a bit more clearly. And I'd also guess that better alignment on the leading edge of the cut and the lower ride height would make that delta much larger. You can see this more clearly when looking at a plane in line with the rear axle. The cutout controls the vortex burst, reducing the peak loss in the diffuser. Now, as mentioned, it also improves the local vortex suction. And looking at vorticity, you can clearly see this. Finally, slicing 50mm above the reference plane shows how the cutout adds mass flow to the system, even though there are leading edge alignment issues. I do guess that if the floor is high enough of the ground, a vortex burst probably isn't an issue, and that probably means that this device comes into its own for the medium and lower rear ride height range. But I should mention that there are probably a bunch of ways you could deal with a floor edge vortex burst. For example, you could use multiple shedding edges and just adjust the general floor curvature to affect the pressure distribution. To conclude, this problem and this type of solution isn't really new. Here you can see how the slot on the front wing end plate of a Formula 2 car adds high mg air to the footplate vortex, likely in an attempt to retain vortex health as the structure passes inboard of the front tyre. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video.